Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena Gideon. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You already know what today's video is about. I'm going to be giving you guys the rundown and details on this beautiful wig that I got on featuring, featuring Miss Coco hair so if you want to continue watching the install and you know know how i applied it and what i had to do to get this look just keep on watching this video is sponsored by camo angels they sent me this beautiful box right here i'm gonna be promoting the before portion of the video so this is a body enhancement lotion all the creams here are body enhancements we have stretch mark removal creams and it is a massage a massage lotion it is cruelty free and vegan and the directions are apply a proper amount to stretch marks and gently massage suitable for all parts of the body also sent me butt enhancement massage lotion it says the product function is to make your butt bigger fuller and firmer so i will be using this it says take palm full amount of cream and apply to butt and hips rub in circular motion to absorb use daily to see result after one week so i'll be letting y'all know like if this is real legit this is cellu cellulite um and a waist slimmer massage gel and they have the ingredients on it again cruelty free vegan and you massage it on your area even your skin tone while eliminating cellulite so i don't have cellulite but i could use a slimmer waist so this is going to be helpful so I have breast enhancement and as you can see they have like a little design on here and this is like you know you massage it on your breast area and you should be able to see um results and you have to use it daily for the best results and i it also sent me a waist tape measure i'm assuming to keep track of my progress so if you'd rather wait and see if it works for me you can do that or if you rather go ahead and see for yourself and go after and support them also i'm going to be leaving their business link in my bio which is going to be in the description box everything you need to know their socials email anything that you need it will be in the description box if you want to contact them or anything and get in touch with them so that's going to be all so that's going to be the before portion and then after that after a week i'm going to come back i'm gonna let y'all know like if it works for me if you should cop i just want to say thank you so much for 400 subscribers it's around like 418 now guys we are growing like we are going up like you guys inspire me every day because sometimes i be wanting to quit youtube because i feel like i'm not capable i feel like i can't do it i feel like i'm not good enough like everybody else and the contact the content they provide so you guys really like encourage me to keep putting videos out and i really appreciate it so thank you again for 400 subscribers the next move is 450 subscribers thank you again the last announcement i'm gonna be making is i have an instagram account called gideon's closet i haven't posted on it yet but i will be featuring things i'm going to be selling out of my closet i have a lot of old clothes i want to get rid of a lot of old old synthetic wigs a lot of old human hair wigs i want to get rid of that i'm not going to be using anymore jewelry purses all those in the back they're they're all for sale if you are interested you could contact me through my main account dm or my gideon's closet dm and then we could arrange something so that's all i have to say now let's actually like you know quit rambling and actually get into the video so i can show you guys this beautiful hair all right guys so this is the package that my hair came in it came in two separate like hair packaging um this is the hair right here and it says um lace wig if you guys could see it and this is the second packaging that it came in which was a satin bag it comes with a wig cap that you can use if you don't have any and it comes with a bonnet so this is what the bonnet looks like it's pretty nice pretty big and it's they sent lashes and they also sent me a scarf oh it's a headband and now we're going to get into the most important part which is the hair so this is what the hair looks like i don't remember what length 20 inches 13 by 4 lace front wig and this is what the hair looks like released and this is the beautiful curl pattern the curl pattern is gorgeous y'all and then this is the hairline i'm pretty sure the hair is pre-plugged so there's baby hairs in the front that i will be keeping there also there is no parting because you get to choose your own parting space this is what the inside of the wig looks like so you could bleach this area if you want to there is one two three four combs and there's also lace at the nape of the hair now we're going to get into cutting the lace i was looking for the density of the wig and it is 180 so right now i'm going to put um foundation 
on the lace and I will come back when that is complete. Okay guys, so I put some foundation on the lace. Now I'm going to be applying the wig on my head. I didn't mention this before, but I will be doing a side part. Right now I'm already liking how it's looking. So it could use a bit more plucking. I will be going with the side part. I don't know if the part is gonna be defined or if I'm just gonna keep it like this and then add some baby hairs. Okay, so right now the hot comb is, you know, doing its thing and getting hot. I'm going to be cutting the back of the lace right now. I could do a little bit more. I'm trying to get the sides a little bit. Okay, guys, so I put the hot comb through the front. The front, the hair is still a little hot. So I'm going to be cutting the lace. So this is what I do personally. Like when I want to do something quick and easy and I don't want to like put my um, lace down the way you would with like the ball cap method, I just cut around glue it down and i start doing my edges just real easy real simple so leave a little bit of lace in the front when you're cutting like this so now it looks like that and i have a little bit of hair okay so a little bit of hair came out but and i'm going to glue I want to start gluing around the perimeter. And then I grab a toothbrush and I start, you know, rubbing the glue in. Okay guys, so now, I had to like fight a little bit, not with the hair, but with myself and my skills because I'm not very good when it comes to applying wigs. I am still very much a beginner, even though I've been wearing wigs for years. So I'm, I already did like the sideburn over here. I'm not going to do this side because I ended up cutting too much lace. So we're just going to have to pretend that didn't happen. You calling me? Yes. No? Yes. Like we're not going to be doing too much flipping the hair, all that. We can't. We can't afford that. So I'm going to be trying the little swirly edges. Like on the side, I'm just going to do a swoop. And in the front, I'm going to do a swirl. And that's literally going to be it. I don't know if I want to do this off camera. I think I want to do it. Okay. So I'm going to do it off camera. But I'm, I am going to be showing you guys what I use. Edge Booster right here is 7 cents. It is so good. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, after a couple of hours, it's going to, like, crust up and turn white. But, like, when you're applying it, like, in the moment, it's so smooth, easy appliance. And it actually looks good. Like, it, it's a nice finish. So, that is what I'm going to be using for my hair. And I'm going to be using this um, edge brush, toothbrush right here. So, I can do my little edges. And after that, I will bring you guys the finished look. All right, guys. I'm back. I tried my best with the edges. Because, like, I've never, like, gone deep like in detail with edges before if anything i try to avoid edges when it comes to my wigs because i'm just not that good at it like you know i've been in this game for so many years but i'm still a beginner like i can't do no arrogant tail like that's not me i feel like this hair is so beautiful that no matter what you do to it it's gonna come out pretty because my edges are like they're a little choppy they're lifting a little bit because you know it's still setting it's still trying to do its thing but other than that, the hair is very beautiful, very easy to do, very easy to manipulate. It's versatile. You can part it anywhere you want, do whatever you want with it, and it's still gonna be gorgeous. I wanna add an, like an extra like you know swoop right here because this area looks a little blank, but this area looks perfectly fine. Like this is the best I've ever done with a wig before. Like I've never done something this good before. So it might not be that great to you, but for me, this is an accomplishment because you know but anyways thank you for coming this far and watching this entire video this is what the back looks like the back is beautiful i just feel it and it's very lightweight the hair is big head friendly like i still got space i still got room in my head not too much for it to slip off and not too little i did not use the combs i just popped it right back i just popped it right on so yeah you could do the same with this hair i would definitely recommend this company anyways thanks for watching guys see ya yeah.